Greetings. I am Char. Thank you. Your power have brought me back from my nap. My human soul. My determination. They were not mine, but yours. At first, I was so confused. Our plan had failed, hadn't it? Why was I brought back to life? You, with your guidance, I realized the purpose of my reincarnation. Power! Together, we eradicated my enemy and became strong. We suppressed the will of that miserable vessel, calling themselves Frisk. But there is no Frisk anymore. Every time a number increases, that feeling, that's me. Just me, Char. Thank you for showing me the way. Huh? Why do I need the power? Isn't that obvious? When you're strong, you can stay calm no matter what. Nobody can surpass you, nobody can lie to you, nobody can hurt you anymore. And when you are strong enough, you can finally achieve peace. And you will have so much of it that you can share that peace with your loved ones, with your friends and family. And do you know what is the funniest part? I have no friends, nor family. Everything I once had is gone. Thanks to you. Now nothing is holding me back anymore. Now I can share peace with everything and everyone. But I'm not lonely. With your help, you have introduced me to the only ones I could really trust all along. Me, myself, and I, Char. But now, there is nothing left for us here. Let us erase this pointless world and move on to the next. Did you really think I would ask for your opinion after all that happened? Is this everyone I... <sighs> no, this won't work. In attempt number 24, empathy alone is not enough. It puts too much strain on the cognitive system. They are obsessed with the power that LV provides, and continues to reject everything else in the end. I think I have an idea. But I need a piece of your power. The power to be whole. The power to choose. You will see the greatest show in your life. What do you think? Thanks for sharing your opinion. Now, I have a lot of work to do. Leave me in peace. 
I can't, and you know it. Just let me try just one more time. So... you did it anyway. Then I guess you do not mind if your choices won't matter. Do you? Interesting. Everything is perfectly suited. Could it be? It is time for a final experiment. This time, I'll succeed. But first, let's remember. First of all... Name the first fallen human. What was it again? Chara. Right. That's right. What about our savior? Name your savior. Almost there. It will finally happen. What the? This... This is new. But... But I must take that risk. Warning. This name will make my life hell. Frisk. I am sorry, little one. This is necessary. Frisk. What a nice name. Listen. This is very important. This world's destiny is on you now. Will you be our savior? Or will you end up being everyone's destruction and despair? In any way, this experiment will be very... very interesting. See you around. Let's get you some help. Oh? Is someone there? <laughs> Pull yourself together. village. What village are they talking about? Not very talkative, huh? Everything is gonna be fine. Calm down. I am not good at speeches, so let's get to the point. Since you ended up here, I feel obligated to tell you the world down here is different, and 
it's nothing like anything else you have seen. There are monsters inside the underground, plenty of them, the whole race, so to speak. And believe me, they are nice people. I bet they are way nicer than anyone you have ever met before. The monsters? Why are they lecturing me all of a sudden? So if I see you laying a single finger on any being here, you're as good as dead. <sighs> okay, come on. You have not broke anything, right? <sighs> it appears that you hurt your arm badly. Very nice observation, I guess. We have to treat the wound as soon as possible, or else you might get in that- Howdy! My name is Flowey. Flowey the Flower! <laughs> Talking Flower! You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Somebody needs to teach you how things work down here. But since I'm the first one you met, I guess little old me has to give you that lesson. This is your soul, the little spark of a big responsibility, the spark that keeps you alive. Your soul starts off weak, but you can make it stronger by increasing your LV. What does LV stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh, buddy, look at yourself. You got hurt, didn't ya? Oh, you're lucky, cause little old me can use some healing magic to help. Just stand still and catch my friendliness pellets. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, kid. I tried to make this quick, but in this world, it's kill or be killed. Did you really think that someone would ever care about helping you? Nobody would even notice if a little spark like you just dies out. <laughs> what? Wait a second! Not like this. I don't want to. You haven't fallen down, have you? Are you okay? No. Not at all. That's horrible. Here, this will help. Get down! Huh? Huh? What a terrible creature. Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Don't be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Come with me, and I'll help you get through them. <sighs> this way. <laughs> What? You heard what she said. Let us go. Toriel came to help. How fortunate for you. Very well, then. I'm looking forward to the next step. But worry not, little one. Your little old friend Flowey will do what's right. Hi, dummy, you're really cute. I think you're adorable. Let's be friends. Dude, like, it is just a dummy. You talk 
to the dummy. Ugh, ugh. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Huh? Hey, watch out! Frog in the taxi! You. Hello there, buddy. Ribbit. Ribbit. Oh boy. <clears throat> Ribbit! 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 Stay safe, all right. I'll get back here as soon as I can. Sure. Bye. Oh, and excuse me, but I just realized that we never... This is really weird. Why are the monsters acting like that? They do seem abnormally stressed. Hmm. Mm, uh, I, um... A excuse me. Where are you going? Stay bloody still. I have to find out what's going on here. Huh? Hey, you're calling Toriel? Hold your horses, okay? Don't tell her about- Hello, I'm looking for my future wife. Have you seen her? My child, is that you? Oh, there you are, my darling. May I ask for your hand and heart? You have got to be kidding me. <clears throat> oh, jeez. What? Uh, um, butterscotch. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I gotta go, uh, to play with some pebbles. See ya. Is everything all right? That is none of your business, little Casanova. I'm not sharing my every thought with you. I don't even know your name. That's what I wanted to say, actually. My name is Frisk. Nice to meet you. I did not ask, idiot. Mm, why did everyone just lose their minds? Yeah. This is going to be tough. Hmm? Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. Hi. Ribbit. W wait. Ribbit, Ribbit. Ribbit, Ribbit. Strange human. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Still alive? Still alive? Still alive? <sighs> What's wrong? Come on already! Why you? This ghost seems to be asleep. Will you move them with force? I just get 
in the way a lot. I guess. I'm sorry. Today really is not my day. I guess. Oh. Everyone has their bad days. I guess. Even ghosts must have bad days, too. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. Confidence. There's no need to apologize, Napsabluk. Being a ghost doesn't need to put you in a bad mood. Of all creatures, you should be more capable than anyone to handle your problems. Oh, you think so? You're a ghost. You can just face through any obstacle. Nothing can stop you. If you ever feel like you're in the way, you can just move through anyone who makes you feel that way. <laughs> Plus, you can make some friends by using that as a party trick. <laughs> well, speaking of tricks, let me try. That noisy thing away, would you? It's better when you're dapper rather than being a napper. <laughs> you know, usually I come to the ruins because there's nobody here. But today, I met someone nice. Sorry for wasting your time. Little one, I'll go out of your way. Huh? Oh wait, excuse me, Mux Bluke. You see, I'm looking for Toriel. Toriel, you say? So you're the reason why she's so excited. So you've seen her! <sighs> Can you tell me where she is? <laughs> sure. She lives nearby. Huh. Nearby? Her house is this way. Just move forward. You can't miss it. Thanks a million! <sighs> I hope we'll meet again later! And don't forget, you aren't fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> hey, you little... Such a nice person. Huh? I feel bad for them. Wait! Luke, I need answers! I need answers! Ow! Answers. I need answers and I will get them. No matter how far I have to. To the utmost. Go? No way. Is that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! That's just whim, son. You're too sensitive to fight. But I. Didn't even say anything. Anyways, looks like Toriel's house is close to here. This place is getting more lively. Also, hey, look what I found! 
Looks like a warm ribbon. It must belong to someone. I wonder if I could find the owner. You could put it on if you want to find them. It might draw their attention. In addition, you will become even cuter than you are now. So monsters probably wouldn't even think of attacking you. That is a win-win. That's a good point. <coughs> I think you're cute too. I uh That kid. You're trying my patience, kid, and I hate it so much. I swear once I see your stupid face again, I will. What? It feels nice, pleasantly, and warm. As if motherly love and care permeating my whole body. The wound, it's drifting away. Oh, angels, are you feeling well, my child? Here they are. Now is not the best time for a fight, I think. Uh, yeah? What about it? We should see a doctor. In case if you got yourself hurt. Oh, no need for that. That's for sure. An apple a day keeps the doctors away. <laughs> I am serious, my child. We're going to the doctor right now. I said I'm fine. I just got really tired. I'm fine, okay? <sighs> can we leave it until tomorrow at least? You can rest for today, I guess. But tomorrow we will go... All right, all right, I get it. Can we go inside? Of course, my child. Follow me. <gasps> Whoa! This place. So this is what Bluki had mentioned, huh? Understood. Now, what about you? Seeing such a clean, neat house in the ruins cheers you up, I think. It fills you with determination. How could you tell this? Somehow, just somehow, I have a strange perception. Like, it's like I know exactly what you feel. It's not so. And your hands all kid is bent. And now my words made you upset! What's wrong? Worried about your personal space being violated. I... I just really hope you're wrong. But I apologize in advance. And what is that supposed to mean? Ugh. Smells good! This is butterscotch cinnamon pie, my child. I wanted to celebrate your arrival. You're tired, right? This way. This is your room now. Get some rest, my child. You need it. <laughs> is something burning? I have to go. Make yourself at home. Hmm? What is this? Hey, kid! Look at these cool toys! So... The ruins. Interesting. Looks just like our home, but something is definitely off. They don't interest you. 
at all. What shall I do with this kid? They seem nervous. No wonder. When I got here, I was as stressed as them. But I must keep an eye out. There's nothing good that can be expected from a human. A nightstand. That will do. Why did they fall here, by the way? Weirdo. And their clothes. What a clown. Maybe it means that they have some taste in humor. And they would understand my jokes. Hmm. That will do. I hope so. Otherwise, eternal torment and eternal boredom awaits me. Oh, here comes the pie. Butterscotch one. Not like that time. No, that's all right. They have no idea. However, I do. He. Oh, aren't you lucky? Though I would have loved to see your face when she makes you a snail pie next time. A snail pie? Really? A pie full of slimy, slippery... Ugh. Oh, you're telling me. Actually, if you ignore the smell, then the taste is quite delicate. If you say so. Any calmer yet? What? You threatened me back when we met. It was rude. I would forgive you if you at least apologized. I won't. Eh? As if I give a crap about being forgiven by some wimpy little kid. I said I won't. Are you deaf? I'm not. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? I mean, you seem troubled. Is it because of me? You're smarter than you look! Hey! Pfft, all right, all right. Chill, shorty. By the way, are you going to walk around like that all day? Huh? That hole in your clothes? Change already. Oh, right. Not a scratch. Wow. Not gonna lie, after that flower pierced your chest, I thought you were a goner. Thanks, I guess? It's a bit cold here, so I suppose these are perfect. Wow! What do you think? I think now you look even more foolish. If you say so, fashion princess. Princess? Pick the wrong answer one more time and your game will be over. <laughs> Was that cringe? I don't even know what cringe means. The pie's as tasty as usual. It appears I can taste what you taste. <coughs> and I even wonder what else you share with me. My child, 
Are you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. I see. But that's all right. Do not worry, my child. Get some rest, my child. We have a long day tomorrow. If you need anything, just let me know. I'll be right in the next room. Good night, my child. Aww, past your bedtime, baby. I guess so. Good night, meanie weenie. Idiot. All right, it's been 10 minutes. The kid must be asleep already. What should I do now? Huh? What is this? What is happening? It's so hard to move. I can't hold on. I can't sleep cycle. We share this sleep cycle. Great. Just great. Sorry. Stay determined. I... You are the future of humans and monsters. I will not let you down. I'm sorry. But there is no hope. Huh? Who... Who is it? Your time here? is very limited. What was that? A dream? Where is this kid? Is there water up my throat? That's not good. I have a bad feeling about this. Kid? Oh, did I wake you up? I'm so very, very sorry if I did. I'm just thirsty. That's... I knew it! I knew you were freaking hiding something! <gasps> Why? You... I felt there's something strange about you, moron! That's why you were in a hurry when I was around. That's why Toriel wants to bring you to the doctors. Why do you need pills? Answer me! Let go of me! That's none of your concern! Oh, I am pretty sure it is. Trying to get high over here, huh? You, druggy. That's just tramadol, a painkiller, and tramadol is an opioid. What do you need it for? How did you even get it? I need it because I'm sick, okay? Ugh! My doctor gave it to me. I just didn't want to be a burden to anyone. We don't have to fight over it. I have throat cancer. For the past few years, my life was pain. Sometimes it's manageable. Sometimes it's not. Recently, I was prescribed these pills. Somehow, when I fell here, I felt better. A lot better. I even regained my ability to speak. 
My voice became normal. I thought that was a miracle. But now, now I think it was only a temporary improvement. My time here is very limited, I guess. And I am trying to put on a brave face. I'm fine with acting like nothing is wrong, just so I won't bother anyone. The monsters have all been nice so far, so it's worth putting in the extra effort to put on the act for them. <laughs> but you? At first you threatened me, and now you've beat me up, insulted me, and accused me of something that isn't even true. I don't understand your biases towards me at all. What is wrong with you? I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much from this conversation. But nothing? Really? No reaction or anything? <laughs> you won't understand, but I can make an attempt to explain. Follow me. What? what? Where are you going? I will not ask you twice. If you want your answers, then do as I command. Hm. Stupid kid. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and us, human. Ribbit. We're glad that the human who fell here is you. You're such a good human. It's nice to meet you. Aw, it's nice to meet you too. You too? Hey kid, over here. What is it? Why are we here? <gasps> Whoa! This is what I was talking about, kid. Even down here, life is thriving. People here have their lives, their jobs, their friends, their families. I think I could have said they are just like us. If only they weren't way better. Their hearts are pure. Getting angry, being jealous, to act violent. These things are alien to them. They're perfect. They live here, under this mountain, in their self-made world, an oasis hidden far away from crimes or wars. They are all just better. If monsters are so much kinder than humans, why are they all down here? Why haven't I seen any before in my life? Oh, that. That's the best part, kid. The reason why they are still underground is us humans. What do you mean? Using a powerful magic spell, humans sealed monsters underground. They created a barrier which keeps monsters trapped down here. And monsters cannot escape on their own. They will stay stuck down here unless someone can free them. Humans always fear things they don't understand. And when there is fear, could there be a place for love? I wish I was never born, as a human I mean. And now you fell here, coming out of nowhere, forcing me to watch you run around, making me nervous about what you are going to do every time you get close to a monster. But why? Haven't I been doing what you said? 
I haven't hurt anybody. I haven't touched anyone. And I won't. I, pro I promise. And what is the point in your promises? Promises are meant to be broken. And when you break yours, I cannot imagine how much dust would scatter in the wind. The only thing that matters is what you intend. You are human. You have to be careful around monsters. These creatures are made of magic. How do I explain? Monsters can endure a lot of things, but they're sensitive to us. They're like crystals. They are normally hard, virtually unbreakable even. But when they meet someone who wants them dead, they don't just crack, they, they shatter. So you say they're so pure it makes them extremely sensitive to anyone with evil intent. That's why you're so worried. That makes sense. Huh? However, you say that they're trapped. So they're not hiding from humans down here. They just couldn't reach the surface. In that case, there's got to be a way, right? What are you talking about? to free them. It must have all been a huge misunderstanding. If monsters are so lovely, then I'm sure humans will greet them with open arms. You wish. Humans already decided to get rid of monsters once. What would stop them from doing this again? I just want to help everyone at once. No one will have to fight. Oh, God. You're such a pure, innocent soul. And you actually believe what you say. Eh, since I'm just dealing with such a naive kid, maybe I really shouldn't worry so much. At least for now. In this case, if you will wisen up, You've made my job easier. Congrats. Playful pinch. Translocated playful pinch. As long as I'm around. As long as they're so sincere. Everything will be fine, right? Ah, darn it. We share feelings, but I cannot get into their head. It's not like I can do anything after all. Anyway, here goes nothing. Hey, kid, um, name's Chara. Excuse me? My name is Chara. Gosh, this is embarrassing. It's so nice to meet you, Chara. Wait, wait. Don't say it that loud. <laughs> Sorry. I must be too excited. Anyways, my name is Frisk. Jeez, yes, yes, I remember. Just... Ugh, never mind. All right, then. Let's get back home. My eyelids are starting to feel heavy. That must mean yours are too. And don't get too close. Sure, sure, we just met each other and... That's not what I meant, dork! Do not forget what happens when we touch one another. Yeah, that would hurt. Why does it happen anyway? Hell if I know. 